Hey guys, it's Joanne. I'm back with part two of my little two-part series, I guess, on how I overcame being ill. And this is the long-awaited part two, which I said would not be long following the first part. Well, lots of, it was like a comedy of errors trying to get this video up. We went back home to Georgia for a quick turn and came back to Virginia and I realized I had left all of my everything I wanted to show you in the video at home but I brought my camera then it was around Thanksgiving time we went back home to Georgia left on a Friday night and unfortunately my father-in-law passed away the day before Thanksgiving so Taking that into consideration, a lot of the holiday plans had to be changed, rearranged, and fortunately, lots of people from out of state were planning to come anyway, and it made for an easy uh, adjustment to consider the wake and the funeral. So after that, we returned once again to Virginia, have been here ever since, and I forgot my camera. So I brought everything I wanted to show you otherwise, but left my normal camera at home and um, I just decided to get creative and um, I had some duct tape this you know little little spool of duct tape and I had duct tape my cell phone to the hotel mirror it's <laughs> just so I could get this finally done because I really wanted to get this video I don't want to say over with but I wanted to get it finished, not only because lots of people have been waiting for it, but I have a lot of other things that have been like in the wings that I wanted to post, but I promised that this one would be the next thing I post. So I just haven't been doing anything. So let me say that um, I have everything together now and I'm going to do the best that I can with editing and everything. Um, audio I think is going to go well. So let's just cross our fingers. So uh, I wanted to continue by, um, well, first I'll have a link to the first video, which was all about the illness, the disease, the sickness, and the symptoms. I'll have a, uh, a link to that somewhere here in the video or at least down in the description box. But this video is going to be all about what I did to find health again, to come back to health. And like I said in that video, I'd been to many, many doctors, had different diagnoses, and I was finally treated for three years for fibromyalgia, which it turned out this other naturopath said that was not the case at all. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you what I did to come back to health. Okay, for those of you that just want the Cliff Notes version of my story, so you can not have to watch the rest of it, I basically went or was referred to a naturopath, which um, he does homeopathy mostly, um, and then some other uh, natural I don't know, it's not your typical allopathic doctor that would pre prescribe you prescription drugs. Everything that I did was diet related and taking supplements, not herbs, but supplements to get me back to health. And the main thing that I wanted to show you guys, which is to get rid of the bacteria, which is Lyme disease itself, and it's called spirochetes. This is shaped like a corkscrew, and it burrows into your systems, your bones, your joints, everything in, in your body. Therefore, it takes a long, long time to get rid of it. I've heard some people were able to rid themselves of it through an allopathic doctor with treatment of antibiotics. Not always. I had had antibiotics several times during that three-year period, and it did not help me at all as far as curing me from this uh, disease. So he treated me for spirochetes, and I'm going to show you the main thing that cured that. It required me to take it for six months, a tablespoon in the morning and a tablespoon at night. So let me go get that. So this miracle that helped cure me of my disease, which I had to take for six months, is a form of silver. And this particular one is called Argentin 23. It's a bioactive silver. It is not colloidal silver. It's not the same. Um, you can find this online at Amazon. This one is actually 16 ounces, and I know they make an 8 ounce. This stuff is, I swear by this, you know, because I've had personal experience with having something that this actually cured. So um, 
I don't know. I swear by it. I would recommend it to everybody. Um, but again, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose you with what is wrong, or what's ailing you. Um, I can only say to, I can only suggest to you that you go and see a physician, a naturopath, a homeopathic doctor who might um, help you to find out what's wrong and you know, what's complicating your situation because everything is so personal. It's not like it's a cookie cutter cure for the same symptoms. Your symptoms might be the same, but they might be caused by something else. So that's my little disclaimer. Um, so the silver, um, I will put a link down below to uh, information about it so that you can read about it and all of the different things it can help with. Let me just tell you a few. Ear health, you put droppers full in your ears. Eye health, female health, uh, gastrointestinal health, you can put some in your water for healthy water, intestinal health balance, mouth and gum health, nasal health, respiratory health, urinary tract health, throat health, and when traveling, you can take it before or after flying. Uh, also, they have a gel, um, which looks like this, and I'll also put that down. It's uh, put a picture up for you. It's more for topical, like um, on your skin. So for acne, blisters, bug bites, stings, bruises, eczema, acne, boils or shingles, minor cuts, burns, inflammation, redness, scrapes, sunburn, you name it. Anything on your skin, I swear this stuff works. So that's going to be the silver. Um, and then I'm going to get into the other... Uh, chronology of what I did because it changed over that six month period of time with the exception of the silver which was a staple so um, for those of you that want to click out now that's the short end of it so the rest of my story January 9th I went to him for the first time and I had what's called an adult com comprehensive workup um, I'm going to show you the website at the end of this video so that you can contact him if maybe he can even refer you to a naturopath in your area um, if you're not close to Georgia near the Atlanta area. Um, let's see. And I had some, I had to stop before this visit any non essential medications. Um, for 48 hours, I had to not smoke, which I don't anyway, no smoking, coffee, black or green tea, cosmetics or lotion for the time period that um, preceding it and when I showed up for the appointment, no exercise the morning of, which that was easy. <laughs> and then for 24 hours ahead of the appointment in preparation for it, no soda, no alcohol, no supplements whatsoever, no junk food, artificial sweeteners or sugars. And I had to fast 12 to 14 hours prior. So there was a lot of prep work prior to the, um, and the hardest part for me was coffee because I did get a caffeine withdrawal headache. But um, subsequently after that, when I did these um, exams with him again, they said, you know, you can have a cup of coffee. We don't want you to have a headache just because you didn't, but just do your best not to. Okay, so the first visit. Um, I had some of these tests that, are not going to make any sense to you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. And if you're further interested, you can go to his website and there's des descriptions about each of the tests and what they mean. So I had the bioenergetic evaluation, which is basically when you hold an electrode in one hand and then the, the current for that goes through his computer. He puts vials of different remedies into the circuit and then, um, he taps you with like a stylus, like this is a pencil, but it looks just like this and it's a ballpoint at the end and he'll tap that with um, on your other palm so that you're basically connecting a circuit between your hand, the remedy that he puts in, and the, the stylus on that end. It's way cool and I wish I could show you. Maybe he'll let me video it one day. But anyway, um, so there was that. Then there's what's called CRT, Computerized Regulation Thermography, which is FDA approved and it measures your body temperature and basically had to get naked. And a woman came in and used that same sort of stylus, all kinds of different points on my body. And then they left me in the cold room. It was cool. I would say like 65. 55. It wasn't cold. It wasn't like freezing in there. And then she came back in and 
and did those um, same spots again just to see the difference in temperature. Then I had a BTA, which is a bioterrain assessment, and it's basically a urine test. Uh, I also had, after the first visit with him, well, during the first visit, but with someone else, a laser energetic detoxification, um, which is kind of like an acupoint therapy. They take um, a laser with this little device and put a remedy into it. The laser passes through it. And then they run the laser, which is basically like one of those red thing, a red pointer that you would use in a presentation. And they run that across your palms, your the bottoms of your feet and behind your ears here. So a lot of, um, I, would, I wouldn't say new age, but non-traditional therapies, but what do you do? It worked. So um, that's all I can say. Uh, the cost breakdown, um, I'll have to go in. I think it was like $25 for one, $65 for another, $95 for the follow-ups, but I'll cover that later. So the whole first visit for me with just meeting with the doctor was $350, and that did not include any of the remedies and supplements that I brought home. And this unfortunately not covered by insurance. So um, the regimen, they gave me this little, I'm gonna hold up this card. It looked like a, <laughs> like a parking ticket for a garage where you, you um, pull your car in and out, out uh, a spits out a, you go up to the machine and it spits out a card with a magnetic strip on the back. So it's, you know, this is just like a business card, but it looks like this, it's just a card and it had that laser strip on the back and I had, that was imprinted with something that was personalized to me to treat what he found was out of balance. And basically I had to wear that against my skin. So I would wear it here in my bra or I would wear it in my sock and that um, strip would uh, penetrate into, through my skin. Um, and I'd only have to wear it like an hour a day. And that was only like the first 30 days. And then out with the card, I was done with that. No more. Um, he did give me supplements. My diet for the first month was no gluten, no soy, no dairy, no sugar. But he did give me some alternatives to sugar, which he approved of, including xylitol, which is the, I think it's the sap from a birch tree. Tastes just like sugar melts on your tongue just like sugar no aftertaste like those artificial sweeteners oh my gosh why don't we learn about this stuff and like use it with our children it has no side effects if you're um, diabetic it will not raise your glycemic index it's expensive that's the one thing i do have to say i think um it comes in like a a, a can um and i'll try to show you some screenshots of it on like amazon um it comes in a, like a, a canister with a plastic lid that you pry open. It looks just like sugar. Um, and I think it was about $14 for that can. But honestly, I'm a sugar person. I have a very sweet palate. I always love my desserts, my sweets. Um, anything sweet is good to me. And when I was taking this um, in the form of xylitol, I didn't crave sugar anymore. It's almost as though... Ingesting sugar makes you crave more sugar. Um, I did notice that. And then I had um, no gluten, which I immediately lost weight that first month without doing anything other than what I had done. Now, this was hard because I could often find like alternatives to um, desserts or frozen foods like pizza. I was so craving pizza and I'm not really a pizza junkie, but I was craving things like if you want if you want to have ice cream but you can't have dairy, well they make soy ice cream, but I couldn't have soy. So it's like I wanted something else, but it would have sugar in it or I would, you know, I it's just the no dairy, no sugar, no soy, no gluten really meant you're eating a lot of unprocessed raw and wholesome foods. Um, so yes, I did go through some withdrawal, some cravings, some detoxing in the form of well, I just say diarrhea and um like sweats i would just like sweat my the bottoms of my feet would tingle little, like some just weird things but i noticed it was working and i did get some headaches um but after the first month i even noticed a huge difference in my energy level i think during that month 
I went into my office and I cleaned my built-in bookshelves, which go all the way to the ceiling, and which meant I had to get a ladder, go back to the tub and dump the dirty water or the toilet, fill up the um, bucket with clean water from the tub and up and down the ladder. And I could not have done that, y'all. Those, those bookshelves had not been wiped clean for three years for the whole duration of the time I, I was sick. So having done that, and had the energy to do that, I was thrilled beyond belief. It was like, I'm getting well. And I went into the living room and I told Chris, I just cleaned the bookshelves. And he was like, yeah, okay. And I said, no, Chris, you don't understand. I just cleaned the bookshelves in my office. Like I had not been able to do that. So it was these little um, nuances of different behavior just were, were total indicators that I was getting worse. So I went to go see him roughly every other month. I continued to take the silver, but things changed. He would say, well, your adrenal, your adrenal glands are still shot, so I want you to take this supplement. However, your, you know, your whatever that was, your spleen, let's say, was um, um, exhausted, but because you took this remedy, it's now where it should be in the levels. So we're going to take you off this supplement and put another one in. So what I'm going to do now is just show you, um, because I went back in August and got the all clear that the Lyme disease and the Rocky Mountain spotted fever were out of my system, although I'm still on sort of a maintenance because just because that's out of my system doesn't mean everything else is back into balance. So I'm going to tell you what, what I'm currently taking. And some of these you can find online, although I don't recommend that you self-medicate. I just want you to be aware of, of certain things that I'm taking. So, um, one of the things he has me on right now is um, some immune support. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. And I take two of these twice a day. And they have in them um, colostrum, which is a, um, it's basically in breast milk. And it helps babies with their immune system. So I take two of these twice a day. So four of those. And that was not introduced to me as a supplement until August. So I wasn't really taking this during. Um, I'm also taking and have taken the entire time, let me show you this one, these um, probiotic pearls. And that's to rid yourself. You know, when you take all these things to clear your system, you are ridding your intestinal and digestive system of um, bad bacteria. And these probiotics make sure that you have the good bacteria in your system. Um, so uh, these are, it's like a little blister pack. And let me see if I can break one for you. They're little, they really are like little tiny pearls about the size of a BB. And so, you know, I have some that I've opened up. And I just, it's the tiniest little thing. Um, and I take one of those a day. Also what I've been on, and this was I think the entire six months and probably forever, is a multivitamin. And this one is specific for women over 40. Um, and I think you can also get this online. But um, basically I take one of these a day in the morning and that's it. So I'll show you these. Um, <laughs> I have to say, when I take it, they kind of taste like hay. And so I always have this reaction when I go, when I take it, I'm going to go like, oh. it's just, it's not, it's not like you can taste it because it's not on your tongue, but there's like this, I guess, aftertaste after you swallow. Like, oh. Other than that, none of these taste badly at all. Then I have, um, this is a different, a variant version of what I'm taking for my adrenal support. It's basically, um, to support my adrenal glands because they were absolutely exhausted. And that was one of the main things he said in the very first visit I had with him. And it was like, well, duh, I could tell you that because I'm basically a couch potato. I'm just shot. It's like being exhausted and stressed out all of the time when normally it's only because of um, environmental situation that you're in that causes you the stress. I was stressed 
my body thought I was stressed all the time. So there's these, and I take two of these twice a day, and basically I've been taking them the entire time, although he did start me off with a different brand, and then I switched brands. I'm not sure why, but this is the same brand as the, um, the pearls. And then it looks like I'm taking a lot of stuff, but really I'm not. Oh, and that's it. Okay, yeah. So basically what I did was I got this, I think I got this at Walmart. It is a medicine tray and I take this with me when we travel. Um, and it's uh, divided into two parts of the day. So this is a day, this is a day, and it's labeled. And then it's morning and evening. At one point in time, I was taking so many um, larger pills that they wouldn't fit in this tray. So I had a large tray that was one slot per day and it was very, very large. Um, but this one I like because I can, the back of it has holes and you can just pop it out. So take the day that you're, you're, um, that it is. And then you, you know, I, I would take the AM dose. So just pop that open and take the supplements out. And then I put this in my purse if we were going out to eat, which, you know, I'm in a hotel folks. So I'm not really cooking. We go out to eat like every day while we're here. So that's been very handy and it only costs like eight dollars six to eight dollars I'm guessing because I don't even remember but it's been very handy and basically once a week I'll fill up my tray with all the supplements that I need to take and then I sort of don't have to remember another thing that I did which I can't hold my phone because I'm recording on it was I found a, um, an app called alarm I think it's alarmed or alarm and I set timers because there was a point where I had to take something um, four times throughout the day I had to take something. So um, in the morning, at night, and then twice during the day, and I would forget. So I set an alarm and I would write down, take one pill of the probiotic pearl, take this, take that. So I would know exactly what it is that I needed to remember to take. And basically my phone would remind me with a tone and then I'd look at the phone and all of those supplements that I had to take at that time were I've written out in text so I could read exactly what it was I had to take. So that was very helpful. So I wanted to take you directly to his website so that you could search it at your leisure on your own time and look at the things that you're most interested in. Uh, the name of the facility where he um, works from is called Longevity Health Center and that's the name of the website. So if you just go to your browser and put in longevityhealthcenter.com it will bring up his website and that's him right here it's uh, Seneca Anderson now he's not the only one working at this facility there's um, he has a, I think he has like 13 children and they're adults and several of his daughters work there one's actually um, certified I guess in homeopathy as well um, and the, several of them work as, in the office staff, and his wife works there. Anyway, um, you can look at all of the people that, that work there about under the About Us, the practitioners and everything. Uh, the services is the page that's going to tell you, describe for you probably better than I did, what these different um, tests are. And I call them tests. I guess they're not tests. They're services. But... Um, that's all there under the services tab. Then they do offer other things that I have not done any of these um, treatments, but I had been a licensed and certified massage therapist in the state of Georgia. So, I mean, I'm kind of aware of what these are. I've, I've been in a sauna before and I've had an ion foot bath before. I'm not Not here at his facility, but I am always scoping out alternative medicines and therapies that are not going to give me a prescription drug. So um, the pricing tab is where you'll find all the information um, about what it costs to visit him. And you can definitely have something done. I think I had this adult comprehensive workup, which is the $350, but you would not need to necessarily have all of those treatments. I think it's best to give them a call and find out what they suggest or recommend. Um, 
because you can get workups, for example, without some of the tests. And then if you're a child, you know, they do have some customization and modification, and I'm sure that they would allow you to make payments over time, you know, on your credit card. So new patient information, um, they do send you a, a nice welcome packet um, when you initially call and you're going in for your test. Many times if you get the, um, the BTA preparation, which is that urine test, they will send you a specimen cup through the mail along with all of the information, everything you'll need to do to prepare and um, what to expect so you don't go there you know what's coming and what's to be expected and basically this talks to you or tells you about everything that you can expect as a new patient um, setting up appointments um, and by the way their contact information is here and um, I would suggest giving them a call first if you're planning to see them even if you're not able to visit this facility or it's just not um, um, feasible for you to get there, I you may even just want to call and see if you can recommend a national site or, or some way that you could find other, see there's right here, now that I'm mentioning it, our preferred practitioners um, and links that they might be able to, you know, send you to. So anyway, um, that's the... Uh, Health Center website and if you do contact them um, I told them I was going to do a uh, I didn't say a video but they they did ask me to do um, kind of a patient what I got in my welcome packet included some other patients reviews of the, the care and the process that they went through and how it affected them and their life and so they are looking to have other submissions so that they can have some updated um, testimonials if you will of patient experiences so um, they asked if I would do one I have not yet but this video in and of itself is a testimonial I may even mention that to him that he could refer people to my video but um, I would like it if you would tell them that you heard about them through Joanne and you can say Joanne on YouTube and they'll probably <laughs> by then I, I told Joanna his daughter's name is Joanna and I I see her quite a bit when I'm there and I told her I would be putting a YouTube video out and um, so they may be getting calls that say hi I'm calling because I saw Joanne's video on YouTube then she talked about Dr. Anderson <laughs> so they wouldn't be stunned as to who is this person and why are we getting all these referrals from her so just let them know that um, you saw this YouTube video and that I referred you anyway um, that's it for the video segment I also wanted to mention that currently uh, you know, my diet, I was kind of reintroducing things back into my diet each time that I saw him. And currently, I have opted to stay less gluten. So I'm not gluten-free because every once in a while, I will have the bread or, you know, something at a restaurant um, that if they don't offer a gluten-free alternative. Um, but I do find that I feel a lot more full and my abdomen feels somewhat bloated after a meal like that even if I have not filled myself in other words I've not eaten until I'm you know over full or, or gorged myself you know like I've not eat, I, I would eat the normal amount that I would normally consume but my abdomen feels a lot fuller and um, so I have noticed that and because of that and because of the weight loss uh, I've decided to kind of choose gluten-free as an option. I certainly do when I'm at home. Um, I guess a few exceptions. If there's a holiday and I want to have cinnamon rolls or something for breakfast, I may do something like that. If there's a, um, oh, there are lots of restaurants, especially national chains, that are including a gluten-free menu. And one of my favorites is um, pasta. I love pasta and to exclude a restaurant 
like Italian food, Olive Garden or Macaroni Grill, just because I'm gluten free. Um, pasta is one of those things that really does make me feel extremely bloated and full. Um, but when you have the gluten free pasta there, even if you don't choose to go gluten free, I want you to just, just to try it. Just, I mean, it tastes the exactly the same and the texture is exactly the same as normal pasta except you don't get that really heavy full feeling when you're finished so i challenge you just to go try it even if you're not gluten free if if you don't have celiac disease if you're not intolerant give it a try what what could it hurt and um so that's why i'm choosing to stay less gluten right now i am also um choosing to have less sugar and I when we travel I bring my little packets of stevia this is one form um, of the stevia which I think I got from Whole Foods or one of the you can even buy this now at Kroger or Wegmans or you know the any place that has like a natural food section stevia is another sweetener that he approved of so I will bring a packet of this down to the kitchen or the dining area in the hotel, and this is what I put in my coffee. And let me show you one more thing. I also bring it with me when we go out. Um, I got this little container at the container store, and I just put my little packets in here, and it keeps them from either opening in my purse or getting all crushed. So I just put the little packets in here and I keep this container in my purse so that I have it with me when we go out. If I get a sweet tea or, you know, something that's that I like sweetened, I'll, I'll have it with me. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that my husband and I just last year decided to start getting the flu shot. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy. I shouldn't say controversy. There's a lot of different opinions about whether or not vaccinations are necessary, are good for you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to debate that right now, but I did want to say that I am um, under the impression that maybe it's not the best thing for our bodies, even though it will prevent the disease. So last year, we both got a flu shot. This year, I said, Dr. Anderson, would you mind telling me if you have an alternative to the flu shot? And he said, well, we certainly do. He has created a um, influenza detoxification flu remedy and this has in it, it each year he changes it because this has four strains of the flu virus or influenza virus or whatever in it this year and basically I did not my husband got a shot without me and we usually go together but that's another story <laughs> and I got this remedy from him 10 drops under the tongue um, three times in a 24-hour period use it monthly for protection for the above virus. So I took it in December or November. I took it this month and I will do again to take the first week of January and I have not gotten the flu. So knock on wood, I believe that this is a alternative. If you do not like the flu vaccination or you're skeptical that that's um, good for you or whatever the, the case may be, there is an alternative and it's natural and it's um, to strengthen your own immune system against that strain of the virus. So I'm taking this. Okay, that concludes this uh, two-part series on my journey back to health. Uh, I hope that this has helped somebody uh, out there. I know two of you at least who watch were very interested in what I did to get well again because you have similar symptoms. I want to say and encourage any of you, if you have questions either about my symptoms or my road to recovery and wellness, um, contact information, which I'll include in the video, but if you have more questions about it, let me know, ask me questions, feel free to interact because that's why I did this in the first place is I wanted to help you may not have the same situation that I'm in but don't give up hope if you're ill you have a long time um, unexplained malady don't give up hope because I never did and I believe that that power of attraction that law of attraction enabled me to never give up the idea that this was not me whatever was affecting me did not belong to me and I, I would be able at some point in my life to rid it 
of my system and get back to health. And I wish that for you as well. I don't want to hear any stories of somebody who wishes that their life was different because of their health. It's I can totally relate to that now. And I, I know how you feel. Just don't give up. Keep um, inquiring. And yes, there are natural ways to get your body back into balance. I wish you all the best of health. And thank you for watching my channel. Bye now.